So I've had a lot of people ask me, and really this was throughout the season, when are you going to do a dedicated video on Marco Simonovic, which uh, was the Bulls' second round pick from last year's draft. By the way, I'm not entirely sure I'm actually pronouncing his name correctly, so please, if you guys know the proper way to pronounce it, maybe some folks from Montenegro will be watching this video and can help me out. But with last year's 44th selection, the Bulls took Marco Simonovic, the big man from Montenegro who is currently playing basketball overseas in Serbia. Now, a lot of people had asked me, why haven't the Bulls brought over Simonovic during this past season? As there was a point where we could have definitely used him when Wendell Carter Jr. and Lowry Markin were both hurt and the Bulls were in desperately need of some big man help where we were basically relying on Thaddeus Young to play down low. Well, uh, you know, I do want to add there is a difference between drafting a player and then also drafting the rights to said player. But either way, I'll get into that. But Simonovic is who I want to talk about in this video. So what's going on, everyone? You are listening to Bulls Central here. Hope you're all doing well. Guys, really quick, if you're interested, feel free to join the Bulls Central Discord. It is entirely free. I do not charge any membership fees for it. And it's a great place to discuss Bulls basketball and other topics. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of that information can be found in the description below. Anyway, so in last year's draft, the Bulls obviously selected Patrick Williams with the number four overall pick, which surprised a lot of folks uh, given the fact that, you know, he was originally slated to go in the late lottery. Uh, 10 to 15 range was what was initially anticipated, but uh, there's been a lot of promise in terms of his overall potential. But in the second round, the Bulls picked uh, Marco Simonovic with the number 44 all selection, uh, who Artura shortly confirmed after that the selection of Simonovic would be used as a draft and stash, meaning that they would continue to own the draft rights to Marco, but he would continue to remain playing overseas while he develops further. And when a roster spot opens up for him to come to Chicago, then the Bulls will bring him on board. Now, guys, I think what's important to clarify here is that the Bulls may not ever bring Simonovic over for years, if at all. Uh, there are players who have been drafted by an NBA team overseas and they never end up playing in the NBA, whether it be because uh, they didn't develop into the player that was expected or they just simply weren't good enough to make it into the NBA. If you remember, Nikola Mirotic uh, was a draft and stash player who was drafted in 2011, but didn't come over to the NBA to play for the Bulls until the 24-15 season. A lot of it just depends on their contractual agreements that they have with their professional club overseas and how they are developing as players. Now, in the case with Simonovic, you know, uh, there is a lot to be excited about for this player. And, and in fact, that you know, he's continued to get better with every season and has been playing overseas very well. Now, Simonovic started playing professionally in 2015 at the age of 16 in the Italian lower league. So that in and of itself should tell you that he has a promising future for a guy that was able to become a professional basketball player at 16. And yes, I know it's overseas, which is much easier for younger prospects to achieve that. But really, you're talking about the top international players are able to sign with professional teams that young. Simonovic played there for a couple of seasons. He bounced around across uh, the leagues throughout Europe and now currently plays for the Serbian team Mega Basket in the Adriatic Basketball Association. It's worth noting that this was the same league league and team for which Nikola Jokic played for before being drafted by, you guessed it, Arturis Karnasovas back when he was managing the Denver Nuggets. And Jokic, like Simonovic, was also drafted in the second round. Now, of course, Jokic has since become a perennial all-star, most likely will be awarded the league's MVP this season, and is arguably the best passing big man the league has ever seen in history. Now, I hear a lot of Bulls fans getting excited about the prospects of Simonovic in that he could be Arturis's next Jokic. Well, let me just say that no, that's not gonna happen. They do possess some similar skills in that Simonovic is actually a pretty good passer for his size and moves well with the ball and having the ability to drive from coast to coast with great ball handling, which is not something you typically see from a 6'11 basketball player. Uh, he's also continued to improve his offensive game and not only just being more efficient every year shooting from three, but even in his ability to develop a post-up game. However, where he differs from Jokic, and it's an area that is likely going to be his biggest weakness going into the NBA, is his size. I mean, the muscle-wise is what I mean by size. The guy is 6'11", but only 220 pounds, and you can tell from his highlights that he's pretty underweight, which isn't necessarily a problem. There are a lot of good players in the NBA who are on the skinnier side, but for Samanovic, this is going to be a bit of an awakening when he comes into the league playing against grown men who have a good 20 to 40 extra pounds, sometimes even more, 
on him that are going to be playing in the same position. Uh, that's going to make it very difficult for him to defend in the paint, and it'll make it difficult for him to drive to the basket on offense with top-notch defenders in the NBA versus what he has been seeing in the Serbian League. However, all that being said, Savinovic is only 21, and he will be 22 by the start of next season, and because of his age, he still has plenty of time to not only continue to develop his game, but also putting on a fair amount of muscle to ensure that he doesn't get bullied every time he's on the court in the NBA. I mean, that's really gonna be the key to his overall development, is making sure that he puts on some weight and builds the strength, knowing that the guys in the NBA are going to be significantly bigger and stronger than what he's currently used to going against. Against. The other thing I hear a lot of Bulls fans say is that Simonovich will essentially be Lowry Markinen's replacement. And I would have to disagree on that aspect as well. I personally think that Simonovich is a, a better passer and playmaker than Markinen is. And based on some of the highlights that you're seeing, uh, he's even a better defender as well. But Markinen is still a better shooter from outside. You know, Markinen, although maybe not necessarily most recently, but he has a stronger post up game. He's obviously a lot bigger so he's able to be more physical with players on the court however what I do like is that Simonovic is a better offensive rebounder as the Bulls can always use guys who are going to be fighting for those second chance opportunities which we really just didn't see much from Markin in this past season overall I just think that these guys are pretty different players yes I understand that they play the same position I know they're both known for their outside shooting and their ability to spread the floor um, but they have different skill sets and on top of that I don't think it's really fair to Lowry Markin and who has already spent a good amount of time in the league to say that Simonovic uh, is going to be as good as him or if not better, which I've heard some fans say. Simonovic, I don't doubt that he can be a solid NBA player, uh, but he has yet to play a single game in the league. And Markkanen, yes, he has struggled the past two seasons, but he was one of the top up and coming players and in the league and has been able to show that he is an effective offensive player in the NBA. Simonovic has yet to show that. And until he does and he makes his way into the league, I think it's premature to make that type of claim, let alone comparing him to Nikola Jokic, because that just isn't fair or accurate at all to either player, really. Now, where does Simonovic fit within the roster if he does in fact come over to the NBA and plays for the Bulls this upcoming season? Well, I think a lot of it depends on who returns for the Bulls. Are they going to re-sign Markkanen? I personally think that it is fairly unlikely at this point, uh, but that's one question. Will they try to re-sign Tice? I hope that that ends up being the case, but it's questionable whether the Bulls will actually be able to afford him based on the interest in Tice around the league as a free agent. And then of course, Thaddeus Young. Will the Bulls keep Thad and fully guarantee his contract? Because if the Bulls bring back all three of these guys, and of course Vucevic, there really isn't gonna be a role for him with the exception of maybe a 12th man and a third string at the power forward position. However, as I've said in my free agency prediction videos, I do believe that Tice and Thaddeus Young will remain with the team at the start of next season, but I do think that Markkanen will likely be going elsewhere. And if that ends up being the case, and if the front office doesn't bring in another power forward in free agency, then yeah, I could see Simonovic being on the roster next season, coming off the bench as a four behind Tice and Thaddeus Young. And really uh, just getting him exposure and experience in NBA games for his rookie season, uh, you know, not giving him too much responsibility or pressure, but rather getting him acclimated to playing in the best league in the world at the highest level of basketball. And guys, you know, this isn't to say that I don't have faith in the guy becoming a great player in this league. You know, based on what I've seen from him, doing some research on him, and seeing his stats improve year over year, there is definitely promise to his game and something to be excited about if you're a Bulls fan. I just don't think it's you know fair and it's way too soon to start proclaiming that you know he's going to be better than Lowry Markin or even comparing him to Jokic. Like, no. If you're you know have those type of expectations of him and you think that he's going to instantly be impactful the second he joins joins the Bulls roster, you're probably going to be disappointed. His first few seasons in the league are probably going to be a lot of growing pains, and he's likely not going to get many minutes to start out his career in the NBA. This isn't your typical international prospect like a Luka Doncic or even a Christoph Porzingis that is expected to be impactful uh, right away in a franchise type changing player. And I think what we can be excited about is that he has the potential to be an effective role player that can provide the Bulls some playmaking which they need, floor spacing also something that they need really all always needed in today's NBA, uh, especially when you have a guy like Zach Levine that thrives on floor spacing and his ability to get to the rim quickly. Anyway, I do have high hopes that he will be a solid player in the NBA. I just think it's always good to take a step back 
and you know manage expectations that this is not going to be someone that's going to turn into Nikola Jokic this isn't that type of draft pick for the Bulls nor is he going to replace Lowry Markkinen just like that and again it's very possible we may not ever see him enter the league for another season or two if at all I do want to hear what you guys think though how high are you guys on Marco do you see him as coming in and being an impact player right away maybe you see him as be having uh, star potential which I personally think is a very big stretch or maybe you think it's possible that he never in fact comes to the NBA and remains as one of those draft and stash players who ends up playing their whole career overseas let me know in the comments and guys as always be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like daily bulls content thanks again for tuning in guys and i will catch you in the next one